You can use Aeroplan points to book Etihad Airways first class with world-class dining and free-flowing champagne for 120,000 points from Abu Dhabi to Washington. Or book a short-haul domestic flight in economy class within Canada. Calgary, Vancouver, or vice versa is only around 3,000 Aeroplan points. You can fly Gulf Air business class between Europe and the Middle East for 45,000 Aeroplan points. The Bahrain-based airline offers a very nice boutique business class experience with ultra-private Apex suites. Flights within South America is a very nice aeroplan sweet spot. The whole continent is a single region, so any itinerary within South America will cost 15,000 points in economy or 30,000 points in business. What's more, Aeroplan allows you to add a stopover on any one-way itinerary for only 5,000 extra points. This means that on your South America journey, you could fly from Bogota to Sao Paulo, spend 30 days there, and then fly from Sao Paulo to Buenos Aires, all for only 20,000 Aeroplan points in economy or 35,000 points in business. Another excellent sweet spot is Vancouver to Tokyo in business class. This falls just under the 5,000 mile threshold for the North America Pacific chart, so it'll only cost you 55,000 Aeroplan points if you can find the lowest dynamic space on Air Canada or partner award space on ANA. Speaking of which, if you're an Aeroplan Elite status member or an Aeroplan co-branded credit card holder, you get preferred pricing on Air Canada flights. This means that you'll have extra discounts on the amount of Aeroplan points that you pay compared to somebody who doesn't engage as much as you do with the Aeroplan program. The Middle East is a popular place to fly with Aeroplan points, and Prince of Travel member Eric recently redeemed 85,000 Aeroplan points from Muscat to Abu Dhabi to JFK, all on Etihad Airways business class. This is a special trip for himself and his significant other and you can do the same using your Aeroplan points too. Another awesome partner airline to fly with is Turkish Airlines Business Class, which serves up a mean feast in the air on all their flights to and from Istanbul, and they're the airline that flies to more countries than any other airline in the world. And if you're flying domestically within Canada, then the best product you can experience is Air Canada Signature Class. If you're lucky, you'll find lowest business class space at around 20,000 to 25,000 Aeroplan points for one way between Vancouver and Toronto or Montreal. These days, however, it's much more common to see high dynamic prices for these business class flights. So the way around that is to have Air Canada e-upgrades if you're an Aeroplan Elite status member, book Latitude Economy and upgrade into business class instantaneously. If you need help with e-upgrades as well as this strategy known as the Latitude Attitude, check out the videos in the description below. And speaking of things with attitude, if you're gonna bring a baby on board your flight, then Aeroplan has one of the most generous infant flight policies around. You'll only pay 2,500 Aeroplan points to add an infant under two years old to your reservation. So if you're gonna travel with a little one, then Aeroplan's one of the best programs to use. One of the best sweet spots for a more complex routing with Aeroplan is to fly to what's known as the Asia 3 zone, which is the third distance band under the North America to Pacific chart. You get to fly up to 11,000 miles in distance for only 85,000 points in business class. And don't forget, you can add a stopover along the way. So you can actually fly from most points in North America to somewhere in Europe, spend some time in Europe, and then fly to Southeast Asia, all for 90,000 Aeroplan points in business class. If that sounds exciting to you, then rest assured that the Asia 3 sweet spot gets even more wild, so make sure to stick around to later on in the video for some more examples. You can book Oman Air First Class for 65,000 Aeroplan points between Muscat and London. And if you're into destinations that are more off the beaten path, then it doesn't get further from civilization than the Federated States of Micronesia and the Marshall Islands. You can use Aeroplan points to book what's known as the United Island Hopper that flies through five of these islands between Guam and Honolulu. Going to Europe from the North America East Coast, Aeroplan has some fairly attractive redemption rates. You can pay 60,000 to 70,000 Aeroplan points for a one-way business class flight with a Star Alliance partner or one of Aeroplan's independent airline partners like Air Serbia from New York to Belgrade. And if you're headed to Hawaii, then the seasonal Air Canada direct flight from Toronto to Honolulu is gonna be a great choice in the winter. Business class space is gonna be hard to find at reasonable levels. So my recommendation is to use e-upgrades to upgrade from latitude economy into business class if you can find that coveted e-upgrade space on one of these flights. Meanwhile, if you can find not just business lowest, but business flexible fares on Air Canada Signature Class from Toronto or Vancouver to Europe, Africa, Asia, or Oceania, then the business flexible fare actually entitles you to access the Air Canada Signature Suite before your flight. The Signature Suite is Air Canada's premium ground experience for the top brass of business class customers with fine dining in the lounge from an a la carte menu, premium beverage service, and potentially the possibility of getting 
riding a ride across the tarmac in one of Air Canada's new electric Porsches. Speaking of premium ground experiences, you can use Aeroplan points to book Lufthansa First Class starting at 90,000 points and get access to the exclusive Lufthansa First Class terminal in Frankfurt before your flight. What's more, if you're flying Lufthansa First Class on the same day as a flight out of Zurich, Switzerland, you can also get access to the incredible Swiss First Class Lounge, which has a private hotel room in the lounge with sweeping views of the airport tarmac. You can use Aeroplan points to book flights on Canadian North, a domestic Canadian airline that serves many of the Arctic communities in the Canadian North. The point prices are exactly as shown on the flight reward chart for Intra North America, although you will have to pay a $39 partner booking fee. Using Aeroplan points on United Airlines flights within the United States is also a pretty good deal. Oftentimes you'll find that for routes like New York to Washington DC, the cash price might be very expensive, especially if it's last minute, but you can book flights with Aeroplan with only 6,000 points. If you're an Aeroplan Elite Status member that's earned a priority reward, which gets you 50% off Aeroplan redemptions, then one of the best ways to redeem it within North America is going to be to use it on flights to Hawaii. Obviously, Hawaii is all the way out there, so something like Vancouver, Hawaii, or Toronto, Hawaii is going to maximize the savings that you get with the 50% discount. Now, fun things can happen if you're combining Air Canada flights and partner flights on the same itinerary. For example, Prince of Travel member Andy recently booked a flight that looks like Toronto, Montreal to Casablanca to Cairo for only 71,000 Aeroplan points. If you look at the flight reward chart, this is actually supposed to cost 85,000 points. But sometimes when you combine Air Canada flights at the start, if they're dynamically priced on the low end, it can also bring down the overall cost of a mixed Air Canada and partner itinerary. And speaking of Air Canada flights at the low end of dynamic pricing, if you can find flights from Canada to Europe at that very lowest bucket, it's going to cost you only about 55,000 Aeroplan points, which is a pretty great deal. If you're headed to Asia and you'd like to travel in luxury, then look to book ANA First Class starting at 110,000 Aeroplan points. And if you'd like to take the longer way around, then recall the Asia 3 sweet spot on route to Southeast Asia. You can actually fly through the Middle East by booking Etihad Airways from North America to Abu Dhabi and then onwards to Bangkok or Singapore, all for 85,000 Aeroplan points or 90,000 points if you want to add a stopover in Abu Dhabi. And sometimes the Aeroplan search engine throws up some even crazier routings that you can take. For example, it'll let you fly from Seoul to Abu Dhabi to Sydney all on Etihad Airways first class, or it'll also let you fly from Seoul to Sydney to Abu Dhabi, again all on Etihad Airways first class. It's gonna cost you a fair bit, but then again, that's a lot of first class flying if you just want to indulge. And if you're just looking to hop around places within one region, then the Intra-Atlantic Award can be very useful as well. You can book things like Warsaw, Istanbul, Baku, or Cairo, Abu Dhabi, Doha for 12000 500 points in economy or 25,000 points in business plus the ability to add a stopover for 5,000 points in the middle or maybe you think all these routings are a bit hectic and you'd prefer something more calm well that's where you can use Aeroplan points for Calm Air another domestic Canadian airline that serves northern remote communities you do need to call into Aeroplan to book Calm Air flights although they should be very useful for going to places like Churchill Manitoba to see the polar bears if polar bears aren't your thing and you prefer flying foxes instead then you'll find them on the island of Mar Mauritius, which you can access using Aeroplan points on their newest airline partner, Air Mauritius. The airline flies from Mauritius to London, Paris, Mumbai, and Perth, so there are lots of interesting routing options if you wanted to use your Aeroplan points for a ride in Air Mauritius business class. And if you don't need such a high level of luxury, then premium economy is also something to consider. The only airline that you can book premium economy flights on points is Air Canada, and you can find those redemptions between Vancouver and Toronto at around the 20,000 point level if dynamic pricing is favorable. There's there's a lot of interesting fifth freedom flights around the world that you can book using Aeroplan points, which refers to when a foreign airline operates between two other countries. For example, you can book TAP Air Portugal between Accra, Ghana, and Sao Tome and Principe, a flight that would otherwise cost you a lot of money, but it's a lot more accessible using points instead. Moving from Africa to Asia, we can apply the same principle as the Intra-Atlantic Awards to the Intra-Pacific Awards. You can book something like Fukuoka to Seoul to Beijing for only 8,000 Aeroplan points all in. Plus you can add 5,000 points for a stopover and this cash fare would cost you quite a bit if you actually wanted to pay for it. And then hopping down from East Asia to India, you can use Aeroplan points to book Vistara Business Class, which is widely considered India's best airline these days. Vistara flies from New Delhi to London on a Boeing 787 Dreamliner and that's a flight I'd love to try for myself one day. 
To wrap up the Asia 3 sweet spot, you can actually fly from North America to Australia and then upwards to Southeast Asia, all on one itinerary, again for 85,000 points in business class, as long as your total distance flown is under 11,000 miles. If you'd like to just go to Australia though, then one of the best options is to book Air Canada from Vancouver to Brisbane, Melbourne, or Sydney, and apply e-upgrades to upgrade into business class. You'll want to book far in advance if possible to lock in the best pricing, but if you pull it off, you'll pay 47,000 aeroplan points plus 13 e-upgrade credits for business class all the way to Australia. And hey, if you're an Aeroplan 75k member or above and you can apply your priority rewards to worldwide flights, then go ahead and use them on this flight down to Australia and get a 50% discount on the whole thing, thus locking in a round trip flight for 47,000 points plus 26 e-upgrade credits in business class all the way. One of my favorite ways to use Aeroplan points is to redeem for EVA Air, the Taiwan-based airline. EVA Air has an underrated business class product that often flies under the radar but it's got excellent food and drink and pajamas in business class along with a smooth transit experience and potentially a stopover in Taipei, although maybe not right now. Sometimes there's excellent promotions for using your Aeroplan points like we saw recently with TD Aeroplan credit card holders getting 20% of their points back after completing their travels. We can't predict when these promotions will come around but we know they come around every now and then so make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit like under this video so you don't miss the future videos when such generous promotions promotions are being offered. If you've ever wanted to use your Aeroplan points towards a Japanese feast in the air on your way to Tokyo, then ANA Business Class is where it's at. You can book this flight for as little as 55,000 Aeroplan points, as we discussed in a previous sweet spot from either Vancouver or Seattle. And if you're looking for a Middle Eastern inspired feast instead, then Oman Air Business Class is your best choice, flying from Muscat to either Europe or Southeast Asia. You can book these routes starting at 45,000 Aeroplan points, and Oman Air also offers Apex Suites in Business Class for extra price privacy by the windows. Closer to home, consider short haul flights like Toronto Montreal or Toronto New York. These are often very reasonably priced at around 5,000 aeroplan points one way, and as somebody who flies around these cities a lot, I book these all the time. On the other hand, something I book less often is Air Quebec, the third and final Canadian domestic airline partner that serves northern communities. But I still think it's a nice option if you want to explore more of our great white north, and just like Calm Air, you'll have to call aeroplan to book. Now did you know that aeroplan points can be used to book not just one one-way flights and round-trip flights, but in fact, three-way, four-way, five-way, and six-way flights on the same itinerary. For example, take a look at what Prince of Travel member Chai has booked on route to the Maldives through Abu Dhabi, back through Abu Dhabi to Southeast Asia, and then back through Abu Dhabi once again to Doha. Now you have to pay the one-way pricing for each portion of the journey individually, however it is a creative way to visit multiple destinations all in one go. If you'd like to join up with fellow members on the Prince of Travel Discord chat server and bounce some ideas for Aeroplan Redemptions, then you can check out the link to membership in the description below. We'd love to have you as a member, so we'll see you in the club lounge. Now one of the world's best airlines that you can book with Aeroplan points is Singapore Airlines, but you probably won't be able to find long haul business class or first class space. Instead, what you can book with Aeroplan points is likely the Singapore Airlines flights within the Asia Pacific region only. Now did you know that you can actually use Aeroplan points for hotel redemptions as well? That's right, there's a hotel portal on the Aeroplan website where you can book certain hotel brands at a decent value. It's not going to be nearly as high as redeeming for business class or first class flights, but the value can still be worth considering if you're swimming in a large stash of Aeroplan points and you just want to cover some hotel stays. One of the most reliable partner airlines for a luxurious experience is going to be Etihad Airways Business Class through their hub in Abu Dhabi, especially now that the airline has added new Airbus A350 1000s with sliding doors in business class. One last remote destination that you can access with Aeroplan points and that's Christmas Island off the coast of Australia. You can fly there with Aeroplan's partner Virgin Australia from Perth. It'll cost you 12,500 points, plus you can take a side trip to the Cocos Keeling Islands as well if that's a place that sounds interesting to you. Last but not least, Thai Airways has recently reintroduced first class on their Boeing 777s after previously phasing out first class because apparently the king of Thailand refuses to fly anything other than first class. So once Thai Airways makes some award seats available on the king's first class, you'll be able to book it using 100,000 aeroplan points between Bangkok and London. And now that we've talked about 50 of the best sweet spots for using your Aeroplan points, you should also be aware of the situations in which you shouldn't use your Aeroplan points and should look towards other loyalty programs instead. I'll see you in that video.